Okay, so this is video two of an unboxing that I'm doing. I purchased 200 stamps and they came in two separate little envelopes. And if you would like the eBay store that I bought it from, just leave me a comment and I'll be happy to share that with you. Okay, and, and I had to cover the person's address. I think I accidentally showed it in the last video and I'm gonna have to use my video editing program to get it out, but oh well. I'm new to YouTube, so I'm still learning. But I don't want to show his address. I think his his store, is, um, his eBay store is public, so I can share that. <laughs> so anyway, let's open the second set of stamps. And again, I'm just gonna like dump them out. It's like probably not <laughs> what I'm supposed to do, but hey, there's some big stuff in here. Oh, there's one. Come on now, little stamp. So here's the one that didn't want to come out. Oh, I'm gonna need my magnifying glass for this one. I know it says Republic something, but I can't read the rest. And that looks like some kind of cathedral. Very interesting. I'm already interested. Let's see what this big stuff is. What is this? Polska. So I do have I I do have some of these, and I did look it up, and it, it means Poland. So very interesting. And if anyone knows what this thing attached to it is, you can share with me in the comments. I would really appreciate it. Also, I'd like to say everyone in the sort of YouTube stamp collecting community has been so welcoming and so nice. It's been really, really awesome. And everyone's like really happy to answer my questions and provide information. And it's been really, really great. It's been a good welcome both to the hobby and to, and to YouTube. So yeah, I don't know what this is. So, so we'll, we'll figure that out, maybe together, we'll figure that out. Here is a Ugandan Olympic stamp. Very interesting. And it's boxing. I'm not super into boxing. I'm more of a UFC <laughs> MMA type of person, but very cool. I like it. So I'm just sort of going through these. Um, oh, I know this is a repeat. I've already seen this one. Um, I need to do a channel trailer because this channel is not really teaching you anything. I'm sorry. You might learn something by like accident, <laughs> but it's just me sharing what I'm doing, I guess, and maybe what I'm learning. I just kind of, oh, Czechoslovenko, I have some of these. So anyway, I'm, j I'm just sharing the hobby with you. And I hope you find it interesting because I do. <laughs> I find it immensely interesting. So if I'm not mistaken, oh yeah, right there it says it in English. This is South Africa. Very pretty. Here is one. That's some really interesting artwork on it. It almost looks like a sketch. Oh, definitely used. And it looks like maybe it was hinged too. When I was first learning about the hobby all of a week and a half ago, that was a long time ago. <laughs> so when I first started learning, I was trying to see how can I store these and hinging kept coming up. And now I'm glad that I don't use hinges because it does look like it leaves a mark. I just use like a stamp album that has like a clear plastic covering for them and that way I don't have to mess around with hinges and stuff. All right, so I'm getting more stamps from Romania. They have like a very classic sort of look, that's really cool. 
some of them are almost like whimsical and some of them are like very like serious and official looking like this one's very like I mean that's beautiful they're like little windows into the past little history but they're also like little bits of artwork and it's really cool does that say alcohol <laughs> like actual alcohol I don't know, I'll have to look that up. Oh wait. Is this like a don't drink and drive thing? It looks like it says alcohol on like a car plate and it's all messed up. Even the stamp's a little messed up too, how appropriate. <laughs> like bent right here. I don't know, I'm curious about that one. That's interesting. I'll have to look that one up. Let's see, can I find like a more whimsical one? There were some fun ones in the other pack that were like very colorful, like little birds and stuff. There's an India one. Oh, Olympic Games. I was wondering what these circles were. Hmm. What else, what else? I'm just grabbing random ones. I have a lot with her on them let's see let's pick this one from colombian okay so these are the ones in this pack have a lot of sort of um i don't know if this is the olympics how it translates literally it's uh National Athletic Games and it looks like the Olympic rings but then there's three rings here that are throwing me off I don't know what the three mean so yeah a lot of these seem to be sports or Olympics or both Trinidad and Tobago oh that's pretty very pretty I like it Berlin. Interesting looking gentleman. Some of these really show my, my ignorance, I think, but not bad. Not not ignorant for long because I'm gonna look him up <laughs> and see what he's all about. Same with this. I have no idea what this is. Hmm. Well, learning is like better late than never, I suppose. There's Chile. That says Christmas on it. I like the... I like the sort of symbolism. It's not like super Christmassy, but you know. It's this very subtle. I think it says 1977. If my eyes don't deceive me. What else? What else? Okay, interesting. I'm not sure. This is Italian colony. But yeah, there's a lot of learning that's gonna happen with these. I think that's pretty cool. Hey, this is a newer one. Might be one of the newest ones I have, actually, so far. Alright, so now I'm, now I'm rambling a little bit, so let me just show you a few before I end the video. Wow, well, okay. <laughs> oh, it looks like... Oh, that's a hinge. See, I didn't want my stamps to have that. And I saw in a different video that that's what it can look like when you take them off, off of an album. Album. Excuse me. It's a very simple one. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Did I just show you this one? I don't know. Wow, 
I have no idea what this is. Let me see if I can even see what it says. Um, it's a different language, that's why I can't tell. This thing comes in really handy, to be honest. I like it. Alright, what else can I show you real quick? It looks like there's some interesting ones here. Oh, this one looks like one I already showed you. Where'd it go? Right here. Yep, looks like that one. Oh, and it says the same thing, so good. let's keep these together for now. And I'll have to... I can't read that. The top. I can't read the top of it. <laughs> Maybe I need bifocals. I already wore glasses. Maybe I need more glasses. That's super pretty. I like that. I like the artwork. So yeah, if you recognize any of these stamps, like if you have any fun facts about them, I would love to read your comments about it, you know? I may not get to reply immediately, but I will definitely, definitely read your comments and reply as soon as I can. Oh, here's a tiny one. What is this? South Africa. Oh, it's tiny. Oh, soldiers. Interesting. So we have like huge stamps. I don't know if you can see it. And then like tiny ones. Oh yeah, and then they have triangle ones. <laughs> These are super neat. I like the triangle ones. I like um, any stamp that's shaped interesting. I saw one on a video that was shaped like a um, like a church window, like one of those. Um, oh, what am I trying to think about? Stained glass windows that are like a dome almost. It was really pretty. Oh, this just has like a little. They never detached it from the paper. All right, so the video is 12 minutes now. So. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. And I hope this was fun for you. It's been fun for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn off the video and then Take a closer look at all of these. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.